Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The Arena Corinthians, of course, home to its illustrious occupants since 2014. How are you reading this formation, Jim Beglin? Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. We have already started here. Enrique, Enrique with the crossfield ball. Well, that's where he wants it. Play for a throw. Enrique. Corinthians keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hit into the middle. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. away just brushed off the ball there did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger if anyone is going to break the deadlock now would be a good time Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. That'll be the last act of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. We are already promptly back on the way. Corinthians can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Fagner.
as he found his man. Tries to get it forward quickly. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Hoists it forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Wagner up towards the front line nice one too cross deflected behind for a corner there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change yeah it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off his energy levels began to to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. The changes then in quick succession. And it's hoisted clear. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. It is now or never, time is against them. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?